Let's go over all the things Udisk needs to change to be a successful app. All right, so right off the bat, I do think Udisk is amazing. I use it regularly, but there are so many times where I just question how have they not implemented this? And if I had to say, I think the number one feature that the most amount of people are asking for is any any watch support that isn't just strokes. There are so many great features like distance, map data, measuring a throw. It is limitless the amount of features that Udisk has, but yet they transfer none of that to your watch, which would be infinitely more usable and accessible if you're playing around and you don't want to reference your phone like 10 different times on one hole. And there are so many times where you're looking at a hole and they actually have the wrong par and the wrong distance. And so you're actually totally thrown off because you don't have that full list of data that you would get if you open up the phone. And for me personally, all these stats like fairway hit, circle two putts, any of that, I pretty much just don't use because if it's not easily accessible to me, I just don't care. So if they can find some way to really bump up their app development on the watches, I think that would drastically improve the user experience. And then number two would have to be ratings and just general stats. So everyone is throwing an amazing round. You wanna see how you compare to everyone else, but for the most part, that can only go so far. So having a general rating system that you can follow, it may not be the same exact thing as the PDGA, but having a general rule that if you get 10 under at a course, it equates to 950 or 1000 rated. Obviously, there are so many variables which you probably could account for because UDISC does contain a lot of data like weather, temperature, wind reads, and all this stuff. So it definitely would not be a foolproof system, but even just a basic general round rating would really impact my enjoyment of using the app and it wouldn't feel like such a chore because I actually get to review how I'm doing compared to the field. And then something that is very bothersome to me at least is that my stats are are solely mine alone. I know this would be kind of private, I guess, in case you got like a quadruple bogey, but also who really cares about a casual round? I think it is so crucial to be able to see core stats and not only that, but dive into a particular round because there are so many times I look at the leaderboards of these top 10 rated scores of a course and I'm just like, there is no way you did that with the current layout. And the only information I have is just the total score. I don't know which holes they aced or claim that they aced or whatever. I don't know any of that. I just have to go off what they have reported. And obviously there's no like, way to actually validate this, but being able to see, oh yeah, he cheesed this hole, he just put it in wrong, that is clearly not an ace because that is like a 500 foot hole. So being able to review anyone's stats and the global stat as a whole. So if you had hole one, you can see, oh, about 20% birdied, 50% parred, and the rest bogey. Getting that general stat information would really impact your ability to get a good gauge about how you're doing on a hole and they already record this data. So making it public seems like it is a no brainer. And I would say lastly, make it free. I know this is kind of a controversial take, but there are so many times where I'm playing with anybody at a tournament or I'm playing with a friend and they're just not about to pay any amount of money for an app that they'll never use. And I think the amount of income that they are generating from these fees is so nominal that it really has no impact on their yearly income. I think they generate way more from outside sponsors that having this fee attached to every single player is just an annoyance. Now, if they have a huge, huge amount of features that are so amazing and useful, then yeah, I would happily pay a yearly fee. But it just doesn't have the same appeal to those casual fans that just don't have the same reason to pay for a disc golf app for now, but they might enjoy it for the rest of their disc golf career if it is free to use. I think there are certainly add-ons to the app that you could definitely have in-app purchases for, and that would provide you a decent amount of income. And that would also give you the ability to have a consistent income where new players are happily going to pay $5 for a particular feature that they would get for life. Instead of this yearly thing that kind of is weird and doesn't really appeal to that many new players. But with that said, I can certainly see how getting this income from every single player can provide a lot of useful tools when you're trying to get new developers and get the important things that you need to scale a company with. I think this kind of goes along with some previous points, but that is just the fact that so much of this data is out of date. So one of the most annoying things is you get to like hole three, hole four, and you realize the entire course layout is wrong. It does not have any par fours. It doesn't have the same distances. Everything is a par three, and there's no way to change it because it is not a current layout for anything. I definitely think this has been improved in recent years, but I still have seen it on many courses where I'm just like, wow, this is not up to date. Like really? And I think the only real way to fix this is just to enforce that anybody that is changing baskets has to update the U-Disc. And I think the only way to fix this is to have some accountability if you are the course creator. And it seems like a pretty easy fix because if you have the new pins, I'm sure you know the distances, and even smaller courses still have hundreds of players that go through their course a week. So getting live up-to-date data is crucial to make U-Disc continually viable. And I definitely know that smart layouts exist, but there are so often times where the layout doesn't have a smart layout, or if it does, 
there is a new basket with a new distance or new t-pad that makes the smart layout unusable. And then finally, something that I definitely will touch on on tomorrow's video, but today I just wanted to say that Udisk is finally adding the ability to add an event, whether that be a tournament or a league. And I think this will drastically change the popularity and ease of signing up for any type of event. So seeing that they've actually done the development on this side, it makes me very excited. So overall, I think it is pretty clear that Udisk is doing a lot of things right. They still are following their core, which is just be a, a disc golf scoring app. Don't make it too complicated, but there are just so many things that you wonder, how did they not do this right or not do it at all? Whether that be watch integration or keeping the pin positions accurate. It kind of boggles my mind, but I also love the app and I love that it exists. Overall, I just wanted to put out my thoughts. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Let me know what you guys think. I am sure there are a lot of hot takes out there, but anyways, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe. Wild Runs signing out. Peace.